And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a pixel transition. I've got two simple clips, you will find them via description below. Let us first get to the cut, so to this point. And then I use the arrow keys to the left to go back, let's say 8 frames. I press C for the cut tool and cut it. I want to get back to the center position once more and then I use the arrow keys to the right. Once more, 8 frames should be fine. So I click on the right arrow key 8 times. Then I press C, cut it again. And now we've got these two smaller elements. I want to apply a mosaic effect to it. Type it into your effects menu and then drag and drop it on both elements. It's automatically applied and you can see this pixelation effect. Let's get to the first element. So I'll activate it. By the way, if you can't find these menus, go to Window, Effects and Effect Controls. This is what I've used. Set the animations for horizontal and vertical blocks. And in the beginning, we can go up to 1000. It depends a little bit on the resolution of your footage. But in principle, you could also go to 2000, but 1000 is already enough to make this footage look sharp. Let's go to the end position and I'll create new keyframes. And I'll set it to, let me try 50. Well, let me use 10. 10 is fine. But I want to position it one keyframe to the left. So I'll just drag them over here. So I just use the arrow key from the center position to the left and then I reposition the keyframes. Our effect works, but you can see it accelerates a lot. The reason why is it goes from 2000 to 10. So it makes sense to create new keyframes right here, set them to 100 and then reposition them a little bit closer to the keyframes that have a value of 2000. but it's still a little bit too fast for me. So let me go to the start position and change it to 1000. As I've said for this footage, that's fine. If it doesn't work for you, you will have to readjust the position of the keyframes and play a little bit around with the values like I just did here. But now I like the acceleration and that's the effect that we want. For the second element in our timeline, we now just have to reverse it. So select it, start the animation for vertical and horizontal. We'll start with 10 as a value, go to the end position, create new keyframes, set it to 1000. For this footage, that's also fine. And now we'll have to adjust the acceleration, so create new keyframes, set the values to 100. and then reposition them this time to the right hand side. As I've said, play around with the values and the positions to adjust this effect to your liking. But this is the general process of creating this pixel transition effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.